Welcome to the next instalment of my 30 Beers for 30 Years series. We're looking at a beer in a box. It is Fuller's 2020 Bottle Conditioned Vintage Ale. Coming in at 8.5%. So it's a yearly release from Fuller's that they've done for, for decades now. Very popular. You can commonly pick them up in, in Waitrose now, which is where I got this little bad boy. Yeah, so I stuck it in my 30 Beers for 30 Years box purely because um, I wanted to. I do like to try it every year. I, I normally sort of... Uh, tuck a, another bottle away as well. So I've got like like five years worth aging away. So it says an annual limited edition brew. Fuller's Vintage Ale is the most popular special beer to leave our Griffin Brewery each year. Every Vintage Ale recipe is unique from the last. Yet all are made to mature with flavors developing over time. For Vintage Ale 2020, we'll stay true to our roots, sourcing all our ingredients here in the UK. The story starts with DRC, a double roasted crystal malt from East Angular. <laughs> Represent. That promises multi sweetness, rich in caramel and raisin. Then there's the Herefordshire hops, Jester and Godiva, adding ripe berry fruit and tangy citrus notes to the signature marmalade flavours of our famous Fuller's yeast. So there you have it. One of the other reasons for for putting a Fuller's beer into my into my box is because um, of, of of this glass here is a bit of a hint. So uh, last year, 2019, when you could go to beer festivals. I went to uh, LCBF with uh, Harry, Craig, and we even out with Ollie from Pint Size. And one of my sort of, I mean, I got super drunk. So memory's a bit hazy, but one of the, the fondest memories I have of that whole festival is we kept like gravitating to like the Fuller's area. And we tried Vintage Ale there. We tried like a few other bits and pieces. We, I remember us sort of like doubling back and going back to Fuller's. It, e even if we were drinking other sort of people's beers, we were sort of standing in the Fuller's bit. So it's, it's, there's a fondness for Fuller's there as well because of the, because of that uh, that lovely day out at LCBF. So what do we have here? It's an absolutely pin bright ruby coloured beer, a slightly off white head, just bordering on beige. Yeah, I can't remember ever having this sort of like ruby hue to it before, but looks very nice. Let's go for a sniff, shall we? Wow! Initially, it was a rush of black currant, and I'm going to even say almost like. Blackcurrant squash, <laughs> undiluted blackcurrant squash. There's something that's reminding me of plums. Quite quite tart plums. Bit of a bran flake malt aroma to it. It's quite muted, but then you give it a little swirl. And that blackcurrant really comes rushing out. There's even something a little bit piney about it, like actual like planks of pine wood. Yeah, I mean, that smells different. It smells nice. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. Wow, incredibly smooth. A little bit of heat from the alcohol, but nothing crazy. Yeah, I'm going to say flavour-wise, it's sort of bran flakes with raisins. It's a little bit of a toastiness as well. I'm not particularly picking up the black currant like I, I was on the aroma. But there's a little hint of it. Now I've had a few sips, there is a little bit of a... Not, not quite as sweet, but there's a little bit of like a golden syrup edge to it. And I mean, the, the thing about it is it's really going down smooth. It's really easy to drink. Mm. So I'm really glad I picked that up and put that in the box. It's been really interesting to give that a try. It, it, it is a unique brew. Um, it has to be said, this 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 particular version is um, is very different. So if you missed any of the 30 Beers for 30 Years series, you could find links in the description. You can find them around. But that was everything from Village, Village Vintage Ale 2020. I've been Jake. Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.